Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, I will teach you, how to create, deploy and test JAX WS Web Services in NetBeans. In this tutorial, we will create a web service which will perform basic calculator operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of two numbers. These operations will be exposed as a SOAP-based web services, using JAX WS API. Let's move ahead to NetBeans and see how to create, deploy and test JAX WS web services. Friends. In order to implement JAX WS web service, let's create a web application. Go to File menu, and select New Project. New Project dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java Web and, select Web Application in the Projects list. Click Next. New Web Application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as, Calculator Web Service. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. We will select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash calculator web service. Click Next. It asks us to select frameworks. Just click finish without selecting any frameworks. In Projects tab, Calculator Web Service Web Application gets created. In order to create a Calculator JAX WS Web Service, let's create a simple Java class. Go to Root of Web Application, right click New and click on Other. New File dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, Select Java and, select Java class in the file types list. Click Next. New Java class dialog box gets open. Enter Calculator Service, in the class name text box. Provide a package name as, com.hubberspot.calculator Click Finish Calculator Service Java class gets created. In this tutorial, we will expose this Java class as a Calculator Web Service. In order to make calculator service as a web service, we will annotate this class with annotation. At the rate web service. This annotation is present in JAX WS API, in the package javax.jws. After providing at the rate web service annotation, the class needs to be provided with operations. This web service will expose operations such as, addition subtraction, multiplication and division. Let's create a method by name, addition. And make it return zero for now. In order to expose this method as a web service operation, we have to annotate it with annotation, at the rate web method. This annotation is present in JAX WS API, in the package javax.jws. Let's say we have to perform addition of two numbers. So, we have to provide two integers as a parameters to addition method. Give parameters as, int number 1 and, int number 2. 
we provide at the rate web param annotation on these parameters, to expose them as operations parameters. The name attribute in the annotation, tells from which web parameter the value has to be assigned to number 1 and number 2 integers. We return number 1 plus number 2. Let's copy paste addition method for other three operations, such as subtraction, multiplication, and division. These are calculator service methods that will be exposed as web service operations. Let's deploy this web service on server. Go to application root folder. Right click and select deploy. It starts Glassfish server and deploys calculator web service. After web service gets deployed on the server. Let's test calculator web service. NetBeans has created a folder by name web services. Open this web services folder. There is an entry for calculator web service and all its operations. Right click on calculator service. And select test web service. NetBeans opens a tester web page in the browser. This page has a Vista link. Let's open it. It has complete definition for the calculator web service. We will discuss Vista file in depth in next tutorial. The tester page also displays all operations in calculator service. Let's provide values to number 1 and number 2 parameters and click on respective operation. Provide 20 to number 1. 10 to number 2 parameter. And click on multiplication button. It opens a web page, showing the output value as, 200. Below, it displays SOAP request. It has info for multiplication operation request. It shows values for number 1 and number 2. Just below it. It also displays SOAP response. It returns 200 in output. Let's go back and try addition operation. Provide value as 30 and 5 as input. Click on addition button. It displays 35 as output. Same values are displayed in SOAP request and SOAP response. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to create, deploy and test JAX WS web services in NetBeans concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com